Right, so I'm there. <laughs> Good evening. Here we are. We've had a fantastic week. Have we? Yes. Have we? Yes. Have we? Yes. We're all a little bit tired. A bit tired. A bit drunk. Because <laughs> <laughs> we finished the album today. Yeah. And we went for a celebratory pint. Yeah, we or two. Or three. It's but been an amazing week. I was going to say, it's been, amazing. God, intense. But then the story that we're telling is exactly that. We've all cried. Yes. For various, various reasons. It kind of. drew upon uh, personal sort of familial experiences myself. And all of that emotion just piles up and kind of comes pouring out of you in the music. We're incredibly uh, pleased with the output. Um, and it's it's a very personal and very emotional delivery and there's been some amazing creative moments and then i dislocated my thumb yes you did that was just yeah. getting up off the chair wasn't yeah, it, darling? That was... i don't actually think that contributed to the uh, album's creativity in any well, way i went but, straight um, in and did another take she did yes and it was supposed to be one of those ooh moments not a <laughs> but we, were, we were quite careful how to uh, modify That's that true. Yes, yes. Yes. we also had a lot of like laughter i mean there always, was this cow always, uh, Noise maker, yeah. Joe May. Joe and, May, and thank, thank you. you for that because that has made it onto the album. So you'll have to keep an eye and an ear open for that. Yeah. And there was a, a bicycle bell, which isn't as hilarious, but the placing of it Ching in this particular track is quite jolly and jovial. Well, what's interesting is that when we've been doing the music, we've talked all the way through about almost in a filmic way about where it is in the story. Not only about the emotions, but I mean, for instance, the one with the with the bicycle bell. We, we've all had this image of us cycling along going, hi Harry, or hi Mary. It's really just a happy moment, that particular song. Oh, but, it's lovely. but throughout the whole thing, you're thinking, well, where are we now in this story? What are we trying to say here? Even if it's not in the words, what's the mood that's trying to come mm -hmm. through with the music? That's the mood. been... Yes. <laughs> yeah, <the mood. laughs> <Take it. laughs> This show basically has got a little bit of everything. It's a very emotional story. And I mean, all the emotions, the kind of whole human journey, because there's a lot of humour and there's a lot of uh, real desperation and there's a lot of anger and a lot of feistiness. There's well, I was just, I was just going to so sort of many characters. Elaborate a little bit on the cycling bell, because you might be thinking, why are they writing songs about cycling? <laughs> but in the turn of the 20th century, for women to be on a bike was a form of protest. And it was very much the, the first time that a lot of women were allowed to travel on their own they weren't chaperoned and that was very liberating the clarion club in derby and across the country became a socialist hub particularly for women's protest and their place in the world and i think that the song that you've written with well, bottom up as we've bottom called up. it now, you know so there's been lots of hilarity about saying politics by the way bottom up we came to record that literally as we discovered the news that this week boris johnson uh, had become prime minister <laughs> and the chorus of bottom up we stand for bottom up politics, politics rising, rising up from, from down, down below ba -ba -ba bottom <laughs> up we stand for bottom up Given a voice to everyone we know. Yeah, that's it, yeah. The lovely thing I think about this story that we've realised along this journey, and particularly this week, is the the fact it's telling a story that this hundred years old. There are so many modern references to do with fake news and propaganda and party politics, personality politics, Big trial by media, trial, trial, trial by media. By media. So probably um, the first ever trial by media. Yes, Actually. I believe that this kind of story really was such a big part of the, the First World War. The grip that this government were trying to keep on the country. And there's a song that Sarah's written called Dora, which stands for Defence of the Realm Act, which was all a plot to... All about control. Keep control of the workers, workers' unions, workers' rights. The press. The ammunition factories, the press. Civil liberties. Yeah. Where people were and what they were saying and what they were allowed to say. And if they were saying too much, they were removed and put somewhere else. Yeah. If you're familiar with what we've done already in the last two albums, you'll be familiar with the fact that we don't shy away from telling stories that have very serious meanings. But you'll also be aware that we're quite humorous in our delivery. And I really think this is like, for me, the pinnacle album for us to deliver exactly that. There is a lot of sincerity there's a lot of seriousness but there is a huge amount of humor and jollity in some of the melodies that we're writing these 
quite serious songs mm. too. It's a personal story. So, so coming back mm-hmm. to what you were saying about the cycling thing and the and the rise of women, what's lovely about this is we, is that it's applied to a family that we now uh, know quite, quite well, well yeah. in terms of our research, but also in the connections for the for the people who are left living. So it's from um, a very personal perspective. Yes, in, that way, in terms it? of of how their families dealt with this incredible story these are real people this is a real story it's a living story it's an ongoing story yeah. and uh yeah. and I, an I love case. that it's like you so we so you know like the song we're laughing about and the cycling and stuff the women were unusual but there was this whole rise of kind of uh, at the same time as the First World War or whatever else was going on, you've got the rise of suffragettes and suffragism, and you've got the rise of uh, communism, socialism, socialism yeah. Yeah. workers' uh, rights, things protest. that were going across Europe, other stuff that was going on, and yet within that, we want to focus on personal and personal individual story, stories, a very yeah. very individual story. We've got um, gigs at Sidmouth, uh, Dartmoor and Broadstairs, with Broadstairs being the preview show. So there will be an hour of pure Alice Wealdon content. Um, but there will be bits and bobs in our Sidmouth and our Dartmoor um, sets, but um, it will be highlights, I think. How many tracks mm-hmm. on the whole album? 21. 20? Yeah. No, 20. Is that all? Yep. Yeah. That's, that's, all. All. that's, all, we've that's all we've managed to achieve. <laughs> We've got the official launch in October at Derby Folk Weekender on the 5th of October. I'm very much looking forward to being able to tell this story to as many people as possible. And I'm looking forward to telling it when I've not had three pints of beer and can probably hold my vowels together. But what I'd really like to know at this particular moment is how did we make Joe Freya look quite so tall? <laughs> can I go I've out the top of the camera? Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Should we leave it there? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would make a nice way of signing it off. <laughs>